Hi, my name is Matt and I live in Massachusetts. Uh, I have been voting Republican since I could vote, which was 1992. And uh, it was not too long ago that I would have told you that I don't plan on voting for Democrats in the foreseeable future. Well, who could have foreseen this? Um, throughout the 2016 Republican primaries, I was just perpetually waiting for Donald Trump to drop out um, because surely everyone else was seeing what I was seeing, which was that his candidacy was an elaborate joke and that he was a simple-minded, thin-skinned blowhard who should be nowhere near the reins of power. Um, as soon as it was clear that he was going to receive the nomination, I officially left the Republican Party, uh, and I voted for Gary Johnson uh, that November. Um, when Trump won, I couldn't believe it, but I was hoping against hope that I was wrong about him and that he would get his act together and realize that his professional wrestler slash carnival barker style was not going to work. But he only doubled down on it, and everything he does seems to be with the purpose of either benefiting him personally or deepening the already deep divisions in this country, or both. Um, and in Congress, uh, over the last four years, I went from being able to count the number of Republican Congress people that I respected on one hand to being able to count them on one finger. And then he left the party. So uh, I will be voting for Joe Biden at my earliest opportunity. And I hope he wa wins in a landslide. Uh, not because I think he'll be a great president. Uh, he'll be a normal president which, by which I mean he will need to be eyed with suspicion at all times, uh, but because we need to send a message, uh, not just to the Republicans, but to the entire political class, that there is a steep price to pay for choosing as your standard bearer a divisive megalomaniac. Uh, that, to me, is much more important in the long run than having my team win a particular election. Thanks.